welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be comparing three different brands of super bulky yarn. But before I get into that, I just wanted to go over some housekeeping more or less. Um, you guys might have noticed we made it to 500 subscribers. And I had said a while back that when we make it to 500 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. That time has come. Now, to be entered in the giveaway, I need you guys to do a couple of things. First, one, I need you to be subscribed if you are not already. Two, I need you to like and comment on any one of the videos from this week. The one that went up Monday is a market recap from my uh, Beasley Farms market that was a couple Sundays ago. The video Wednesday was a crochet tutorial, and then the video today is this yarn comparison. Um, you can comment and like all three of those for your highest chance to win or you can just do one either way but how it's going to work is i'm going to select one person who's commented on each one of those videos for a total of three winners so one person from each comment section so today is the sixth that this is going up so monday is the eighth and the video for monday is when i'm going to be announcing the winner i'm going to be announcing the winner by video and not commenting back in the comment section to tell you if you've won or not because people have made it uh made me aware that that is sometimes the way people scam other people somebody's winning some yarn somebody's winning some crochet hooks and somebody's winning some stuff i've made or everybody's winning all three i haven't decided yet yeah so <laughs> i probably didn't sell that giveaway well so i'm sorry but I'm excited and I obviously could not have done it without you guys. I try not to set goals like this for myself, full disclosure, like goals that are dependent on other people doing things. Like, you know, you can set the goal of like getting a raise at work, but ultimately like you are not actually in control of that. So I don't know why I actually set this goal for myself, but I did, but we did it. So that's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it again, I guess, and set um, another goal for another giveaway uh, at 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which if you're familiar with the world of YouTube is the requirements to monetize. Currently we are at, as of filming this video, um, 526 subscribers and 1,877 watch hours. So we're just about halfway there on both requirements. Um, but if we can get 100% of the way there on both requirements, I will do another giveaway and I will do it better with more planning and, uh, like financially more prizes. Yeah. And, uh, aside from that, you might've noticed that I've rearranged my space a little bit. I brought my, uh, shelf from my bedroom in here. It had a lot of the same stuff on it, but it didn't, didn't have yarn on it. And, and now let's get into the actual point of this video, which is this yarn comparison. So we can see what yarn is right for you and what yarn you might want to try next if you haven't tried these. Okay. So the inspiration came from the uh, turtle video. That is my video that I did with um, Kim from the Regretful Yarn Attic. Uh, I'll link that in the cards and in the description. Sorry, I, the spouse and the kids are at the store. I thought they might have been pulling in, but they're not. I'm just hearing things. Um, I had already kind of ruminated on doing this video because I was a Bernat Blanket girly uh, and decided to expand my horizons to try Parfait Chunky. And so I did. And then I was a little bit disappointed in the thickness of that yarn because even though it's described as a super bulky weight six yarn, it was significantly thinner by look than um, Burnout Blanket. And then when I did my crochet collaboration with Kim, we had exchanged some yarn and she sent me Sweet Snuggles Light, which I had not tried. Um, and I was actually pleasantly surprised with that yarn because it was very comparable in thickness to Burnout Blanket. Uh, so that's where the inspiration for this video came from. And if you haven't realized, we are going to be comparing Sweet Snuggles Light, Parfait Chucky, and Bernat Blanket. So we'll start with Sweet Snuggles Light. That's by Leaps and Threads, which is a brand that you can get at Michael's. One skein of Sweet Snuggles Light is undiscounted $9.99. There are 218 yards in the skein and a total of uh, 250 grams. The per unit price on that 
per gram unit price on that is about four cents. According to the website, you can get it in about 18 different colors. The next yarn we are gonna compare is Parfait Chunky by Premier Yarns. Typically, you can get that directly from their website, Premier Yarns, but other online yarn stores have it, uh, and you can occasionally find it on Amazon as well. The skeins of that are 4 dollars There are 131 yarns per skein, and they weigh 100 grams. The per gram unit price is $4.00. Nope. <laughs> the per gram unit price on that is about five cents. And the final brand we are comparing is Burnout Blanket. Burnout Blanket is very widely available. You can find it at most craft stores like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can also get it directly from Amazon. And if these yarns are available on Amazon, which I think Premier and Burnout are definitely both available. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Sweet Snuggles like, but if I can find it, I'll link it below so you guys can do some yarn shopping. Um, undiscounted Burnett Blanket is $11.99 or $12.99, depends on the store you go to. I went with the $12.99 price for the unit price breakdown, um, but we'll get to that in a second. A skein of Burnett Blanket is 220 yards and it's 300 grams. The per gram unit price is about 4.3 cents. So as you can see, comparatively, um, they are all between like four and five cents per gram. Uh, Parfait Chalky comes in almost 40 different colors. I will say if you're looking for a brand of yarn that you you can find like specific shades of colors in, uh, your best bet is probably Parfait Chalky because they've got a lot of different blues, a lot of different pinks, a lot of different purples. Uh, so they're really good for that. Overall color selection, uh, Burnout Blanket probably has the biggest between their Burnout Blanket, Burnout Baby Blanket, Burnout Brights, etc. Um, and because they have so many different like types of Burnout Blanket, the different like yarn lines, um, I could not find a specific count. But I will say some of those colors are like multicolored yarns, like like this, for example, is a multicolored. So if you're looking for different shades, Burnout Blanket might be like hard to find different shades that you may be looking for. Uh, so like I said, on that on the color front, Parfait Chucky might be your best bet. But Burnout Blanket does still definitely have a lot of options. Now comparing the weights. I did find in doing my project for my collaboration with Kim that Sweet Snuggles and Parfait, nope, Sweet Snuggles and Burnout Blanket worked up to be about the same size. The head on both turtles is the Sweet Snuggles, but the turtle shell, this one is Burnout Blanket and this one is Sweet Snuggles. You can see they're just about the same size with the Burnout Blanket maybe being a little bit thicker, but if you wanted to mix and match these yarns, you can comfortably use them on the same project and you're not gonna have too much of an issue. So I really liked that about the Sweet Snuggles. Now, Parfait Chunky was a little bit of an issue because it was significantly thin compared to the other two. I'd say it's more of a weight five yarn, um, and I will hold them up for comparison. Now, they do look similar, I'll give you that. However, they look similar because this part is the uh, Parfait Chunky. I had to hold it double to accomplish them looking similar. So if you were looking to use them on the same project, the Parfait Chunky with any of the other two, the only way you're going to probably be able to do that comfortably is if you hold the yarn double to make it thicker. Otherwise, I I don't have her with me now, but my flower sprite that I crocheted for my last market, I'll insert the video here somewhere of everything I crocheted for that market so you can see her. Uh, I did her flower hat with just single stranded Parfait Chunky and then her body with Burnout Blanket. And I had to way, way, way increase the amount of rounds I did on the hat to make it fit over the uh, burnout blanket head. 
uh, because it was just that different. Now, if you're new to crochet and don't know how to like modify patterns like that, then your best bet is just gonna be to hold it double. Your count should still be able to come out the same to like make it work. Um, obviously, I don't make any promises on that because yeah, but count wise, all of these stitches and all of the rounds on these were the same. The only thing I did different was just doubling it up for the Parfait Chunky. Uh, and that's not to say that's a terrible brand and you should never buy it because, in fact, I found out when I used Parfait Chunky for the first time that if I had used that to try to learn with uh, Super Bulky Yarn, it would have been a lot easier than trying to learn with the Bernat Blanket because that's the only Super Bulky Yarn that I've tried so far where you can actually, for the most part, see your stitches. And I was very pleasantly surprised about that. Um, I'm good with them now but <laughs> i'll tell you what when i first started i was not uh when i first started a lot of my crocheting with this super bulky yarn was basically by feel and prayer <laughs> hoping that i got the stitch into the right spot uh because when you're new it feels like it's impossible to see your stitches and know where you need to work into but the like stitch definition and you can kind of see it is better on the Parfait Chunky than it is on the other ones. Uh, and I don't know, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it is just because it's thinner. So like the like height of like the fuzz on the strand isn't that high. Therefore it makes it easier to see. I'm not really sure, but I was pleasantly surprised that you could see your stitches. All that to say is if you're, you know, newer to using super bulky weight yarn and you want something that's going to be easier to work with, then my uh, suggestion for you is to try Premier Yarns Parfait Chunky first because I think it'll help you a lot. And if you're looking for the widest selection of colors, then again, I have to suggest the Parfait Chunky yarn. Aside from that, if you're looking for that like luxuriously plush, super soft, fuzzy feel, I think you'll like Sweet Snuggles the best because while I'm a Bernat Blanket kind of guy, the Bernat Blanket, especially the regular Bernat Blanket, not the baby blanket, has like a terry cloth texture. It's not rough, but it's definitely not like a velvety kind of texture. And if you've ever like felt it at the store, like you know what I'm talking about, it's not that like... I don't know, plush texture. Textures are really hard to describe verbally, I've learned in doing this channel. Um, so if you're going just based on feel and want a chunky yarn, your best bet is going to be a Sweet Snuggles. If you still want soft and fuzzy, but a decent color selection and a thick yarn so you could have like the biggest project possible while still using super bulky weight yarn, then your best bet is the Bernat Blanket and coincidentally, that is the mid-range price. As far as cheapness goes, the cheapest one was the Sweet Snuggles. <clears throat> if you want to go just based on a texture and you like that velvety, plush, soft feel, uh, Sweet Snuggles is going to be the way to go. And coincidentally, it was also the cheapest at right around four cents a gram. Um, so definitely worth trying there if you have not. And if you're not super concerned about texture, I personally like the feeling of Bernat Blanket, but it is more of like a terry cloth kind of vibe. It's like a fuzzy versus like a plush, if you understand what I'm saying. Textures are hard to describe. Um, but if that texture does not bother you, Bernat Blanket is the way to go. You've got the color options, you've got the thickness so you could actually have an end product be as big as it can be within like the super bulky category and yeah it's only about 4.3 cents a gram if you want to see everything that i crocheted for my last market i'll have that video linked right here and once again don't forget to like and comment on the videos this week uh, for your chance to enter my giveaway i will be announcing the winner on monday the 8th in that video so make sure you are subscribed if you're not already, and I will see you guys then. Bye!